What is up you guys? This is LEGO Superheroes today. And today, after many requests, I'm going to show you how to build Mysterio from the Spider-Man comics using 100% official LEGO pieces. So, let's get started. So there's only a few figures that you need to build this, but it's a pretty complex figure, so I'll walk you through it. The helmet is easily gonna be the hardest part to find, you guys. That comes from Sandy from the SpongeBob sets that came out many, many years ago. And her figure isn't exactly cheap or easy to find, but it is the perfect piece. So maybe check like BrickLink or somewhere like that if you wanna try to buy just this piece. So moving down, the head and the cape here, which I love this beautiful cape. It's got this nice, you know, neck piece here and the purple cape that comes down. That cape comes from the Alien Queen from the collectible minifigure series. You shouldn't have too difficult of a time finding that figure, so I highly recommend picking that one up for this custom. Moving down, the torso is from the Cactus Girl from the Collectible Minifigure Party series. Now, this is the torso from underneath, so you'll need to pull those cactus arms out and then use this torso. I think it looks really good, but an alternative, I would suggest the Green Goblin from the original Tobey Maguire Spider-Man sets from the early 2000s. If you like that look, I'd recommend that, and if you like this look, I'd recommend this. Both work, either way works just fine. Now the arms, I'll pull the magic spell thing off there. The arms are from the pizza guy from the collectible minifigure series. I like that you've got the green up top and the yellow on bottom because on the pizza guy, it looks like a short sleeve shirt, but on Mysterio, it looks like his iconic yellow gloves, which are very cool. And speaking of his hands, I used these spells here from the Doctor Strange figure that came with the Sanctum Sanctorum from Avengers Infinity War. It's just a cool way to give Mysterio some illusions. You can use any color you want or you don't have to use them at all. I just thought that it was a cool addition. And then finally, the legs are from one of the surfer people from the Fun at the Beach pack, which is a Lego City set. Now, Lego City is an awesome theme, and they do these packs from time to time, usually about one a year, one every couple months. But in any case, you'll want to get these legs for that. It's got the yellow boots and the shorts, and much like the pizza guy, on a regular minifigure, it's feet and pants, but on Mysterio, it's boots and pants. So, at the end of the day, I really like the way that this Mysterio turned out. It's a really great figure. I love Mysterio, he's my favorite Spider-Man villain, and I can't wait to see him in Spider-Man Far From Home. So, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this figure. If you were gonna build Mysterio from the Marvel comics, which pieces would you use? Also, be sure to drop some comments letting me know some figures you'd like to see me create for future videos. I read every single comment that you guys leave, so leave some suggestions, and I promise I'll get to all of your video requests as soon as I possibly can. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. Also, join me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for daily LEGO photos from your favorite LEGO themes. This has been an official transmission by LEGO Superheroes Today. And as always, build on.